This is Bobby with BC Designs. I have a super quick video I'm going to share with you guys today. I just got my annual catalog in the mail from Stampin' Up. This will be available to the public on May 2nd. You can start ordering it unless you want to join my team. And then you can add items from the catalog to your starter kit. But I have been cleaning, organizing, labeling, doing all the things in my craft room. I have been behind by a couple of years and it was driving me nuts. So I decided this was the weekend. I'm going to get rid of all the things that I can no longer use or demonstrate to my customers. So I got the new in color, um, all the ink pads and things like that and my pre-order. And I was putting my labels on last night. Um, this is three ink, I don't really need it. But I wanted to share with you guys a little trick that I know that some of you may not be aware of. Let me see. I don't think I got that good enough where I can open it. But when you're opening your ink pads, there's labels on the back. Now, you do want to take this off. So where that little arrow is, just peel that. Make sure that you're leaving these little four labels here should stay on the ink pad so you just want to remove this okay and then i simply just take my you could probably use your fingernail and you can put one of your labels i just try to like to get it as straight as i can so put one of your labels there, and then when you open it up, you can also put one. Now, I haven't done that yet. I was kind of busy last night, so see, we have two. They have all the languages on the back, but if you choose, I, I decided last night when I was doing this, I was kind of in a hurry that I was just going to do it on the inside when as I was using them. So just kind of poke it in there like that and then that way when you're using it if you have several ink pads out at once you know which one you're using so a lot of you may not know peel that off oops got my finger on my ink pad peel that label off that's what it's there for and this one I believe is just a colored one so if you wanted to put it someplace else on the ink pad, I'm not sure where you'd want to put it, but if you do, you could use that one for that. But I just wanted to share that really quick with you guys. That makes it so much easier if you remove that. Just make sure when you're removing it that you're holding these labels down, especially the ones that is in your language and you're going to want to use. Okay, guys, until the next time. Bye-bye.